I'm Steve Nelson, life member of the American Custom Gunmakers Guild, and we're here to demonstrate the restoration of Damascus shotgun barrels. Since I'm working on the muzzles, I'll set it up in my machine vise, good and solid, solid stand underneath the muzzles. Then we'll be filing on these pits. While I'm filing, I'm applying pressure, down pressure on the forward stroke, not the back stroke. I chalk my files to prevent pilling, which is the buildup of metal filings between the teeth. A brass cartridge case pounded flat works just fine for removing the pilling between the teeth. Some dents we discovered in this barrel can be raised with the hydraulic dent razor. Align the shoe with the dent and turn the wrench to raise the shoe. In the case of this dent here, we discovered a small crack after we raised it. So I'm going to use the TIG welder to patch that crack before we go any farther. Okay, I've finished TIG welding these cracks that we discovered. Now I'm going to dress them down with the file till they match the rest of the barrel. Now that I've filed out those pits, I'm ready to start polishing the barrel. For shotgun barrel polishing, I use two different techniques, both the mold maker's stones and paper with a hardwood back. We'll start polishing with 120 grit, then move on to 220, then 320, and a final burnish with some medium scotch Brite. Now that we've finished polishing, it's time to clean and degrease the barrel. I dip the cleaning cloth in the degreaser and run a few patches through the bore. Scrub the barrels with degreaser and Scotch-Brite, then thoroughly dry them. Start the bluing process immediately afterwards or surface rust will begin to form. Apply a single thin, even coat of bluing solution to the barrels with a piece of sponge or cotton swab. Try to avoid overlaps. Place the barrels in the damp box for 20 minutes or until they look about like this. This is a good time to prepare your bluing tank. I prefer to use distilled water. Remove the barrels from the damp box and carefully place them in the water. After a few minutes, remove the barrels and dry them off. I use oil absorbing cloths to remove surface oil, insulate the water and prevent contamination. After the barrels are dry, they will have surface rust that we will cart off. I use a 3,000th diameter steel wire rotary brush. Plug both ends of the barrels with waterproof plugs and dip them into the ferric chloride solution for 5 to 10 seconds. Clean the barrels immediately afterwards. After repeating the bluing process three times, your Damascus barrel should look similar to this. Continue these processes until you're satisfied with the results. And this is my technique for bluing Damascus barrel. This video has been made possible by a grant from the DSC Foundation and the American Custom Gunmakers Guild Foundation.